Like Ashaka, you've been to South Sudan a couple of times. Not only have you been there, but uh, you interact with people. You've talked to President Salva Kiir. You've talked to Riyak Macha. Why can't these two gentlemen uh, agree with each other on certain things to move their country forward? There needs to be some room for trust. These are individuals, if you look at their chemistry, they don't seem to be on the same page. I would say, frankly, I do not see why they cannot agree to share power and live together. Why? Because the country is enormously wealth, the country is enormously fertile, and you have very few people. All they need to do is to have the political will that allows them to gain the necessary confidence that the two parties need and their followers to live together, share the God-given resources, and call it a day. How about people who say that uh, most of these leaders are actually in it for their own personal gain and not caring about the ordinary folks uh, in South Sudan? Well, of course, uh, you heard me asking, I'm sure, a question to Riyak Machara about uh, critics who say that uh, uh, this deal really is not about efforts to restore peace and stability in the country, but rather it is an agreement that reflects the individual and sometimes personal and community interests. And of course he said no. He said at least from his point of view, he really signed the deal because he, he wanted the people in southern Sudan uh, to stop really being internally displaced in their own country, to stop being refugees in their own country, to begin to enjoy the fruits of the independence of their God-given territory.